Famous actress Kiernan Shipka is happily dating an Asian tech billionaire, but a lot of people feel like Hollywood and TMZ isn't covering their dating life because he's Asian. They are clearly ignoring this Alexander Wang. They would rather cover the controversial, infamous fashion designer Alexander Wang. Ah! We gotta talk about it, Andrew. Because Alexander Wang is the CEO of Scale AI, and he is the youngest billionaire in American history. Why don't people want to talk about his dating life, man? Well, are looking. they ignoring it because he's simply an average looking Asian guy? I mean, I'd say he's cool looking for a tech founder. Is he the Asian Elon Musk? And does Hollywood or TMZ have an agenda against Asian men coming up in their social status? Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications because we're about to get into it. And Andrew, guess what else people need to check out? Smala sauce, guys, help me get to Alexander Wang's level. Just kidding. This won't, but uh, anyways, check it out. It's sold out right now. Andrew, let's be honest. Everybody is thinking of Alexander Wang, but not Alexander with the E missing because his parents wanted to make his first name eight characters for good luck. He is Taiwanese American. He's from New Mexico. His parents are astrophysicists. He went to MIT. He dropped out to start scale AI with Lucy Guo. And at 24 years old, he was the youngest tech billionaire in world history. All right, let's talk about Shipka then. Our father is one half Slovakian and then uh, one quarter German. Uh, other side is English and Scottish. She is an actress. She was the young girl in Mad Men. She has since grown up, been in a lot of TV series. I would say she is... Uh, for the young actresses that are around her age level, about 24, 25, she is well known, but she's not A tier. Because she's kind of like that Gen Z vibey, sort of like subcultured, yeah. right? Not just like, oh, I want to be at the gala mm. Hollywood. It's more fitting with that Billie Eilish sort yeah. of like subculture Hollywood star. Yeah, no, I mean, she's, by all means, she is an attractive Hollywood star, but maybe not like the starlet, not like what. Uh, Sydney Sweeney is right yeah. now or something so like that. So why are people not treating this like rice gum when he was dating that blonde girl? And I looked- Oh, I did Abby the, Rao? I, I, I remember I, I Abby. Looked it up. I looked it up. Daily Mail, TMZ, all uh, National Enquirer. None of them are covering this story. Yeah. Zero entertainment publications have covered this. And it's very clear from their Instagrams that they are dating. Famous blonde actress, tech billionaire, AKA the Asian American Elon Musk, who's creating all the AI that is, yeah. you know, shaping a lot of things. Basically, he's like selling the shovels and the picks <laughs> to the gold rush. Yeah. And he's a billionaire and nobody cares. Is it a conspiracy? Okay. Do I honestly think that people in the TMZ office or in Hollywood are like, no, 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 we're not going to cover this relationship because this goes against our agenda against Asian men. We're against Asian men, remember, and if we highlight him, it's going to help Asian guys and then Hollywood's going to get destroyed. I don't think that's really happening. I think that more so... So she's not a gigantic star. She is a star, but not a gigantic actress, more in a different generation. Maybe more for the internet crowd even, yeah. right? Because she um, has a uh, popular subreddit, but that subreddit couldn't believe that she was dating an Asian guy. And but, I'm like, this guy's richer than any guy but, she could, she'd receive uh, richer than Leo. Yeah, and I think it's only because her past relationship flings or the people she's been tied to were other famous people themselves or other actors in Hollywood. Maybe they... Don't know what to say about her dating a billionaire. Maybe everybody's just, they just figure everybody's going to say, oh, it's because he's rich and not because he's like a good person or a nice guy. You know, obviously he's worth a billion dollars. That might make it easier to date him, right? I don't think that there's necessarily an agenda against this, but I don't think they find it that interesting. So therefore they're not covering it. Is it because he's Asian? Is it because he doesn't look like a model? Or is it because it's not a consumer facing app? You know, like Elon had Tesla. Elon is also good looking himself. Or uh, also what's his name? Evan Spiegel, the guy who founded Snapchat when he was dating a bunch of supermodels yeah, or whatever. I, I am a little surprised that nobody covered it considering if you look at the pictures that they post together, they are clearly happily dating. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If you look at, they always say, look at the woman's eyes. She looks into them. They look happy. Right. Like legit and happy. And not only that, she's Eastern European. So it's totally legit. Yeah. <laughs> if, if Trust me, if an Eastern European likes an Asian guy, to me, Nine out of 10 times, I feel like it's legit. Her she, last name is Shipka. So like, it's totally- Eastern Europe was conquered by Genghis Khan a long time ago, guys. Listen, yeah. there's just yeah. a lot more mixing in that region. They're more think. open to Asian guys for sure. Uh, do you think that Asian tech founders are gonna become 
bigger right now. And obviously, he didn't found TikTok, but Show Z Chu, especially after that uh, congressional hearing, he's like at the Met Gala now. Yeah, it's interesting that Show Chu is kind of becoming a star, even though he's the CEO of an app that a lot of older people think uh, has like security uh, issues, you know? So it is a tool of the rival. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess back to, uh, Shipka and Alexander Wang. I just feel like what is so crazy about him dating her? Like, I think he, he deserves her. He should be. He's kind of a tall, successful guy. He's good at talking. He seems like a normal guy. I would say he's good looking for an Asian tech founder. Yeah. For an Asian tech founder, he's pretty normal looking. So shout out to him. Why not normalize this thing? Makes sense to me. She's pretty short too. Yeah. Um, people were talking about the white male trolls that came out, whether okay. it's on her subreddit, on various Instagram posts that he made, where they just can't believe it. Yeah. And they're coming through like, oh, she only likes him for the money and blah, 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 blah. Right. Um, I think she could have dated a number of other rich guys, multimillionaires, maybe other billionaires if she wanted to, but she chose him. Why? Probably because she recognizes his brilliance and values that into his market, like the way she's valuating him. Yeah, maybe she has a weird Asian fetish. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, or she just has a fetish for Asian guys. Like, there's nothing like, why Like, why not? It's totally possible. Right. Also, I think that um, a lot of people don't really understand that sometimes actresses, they don't think like a bottle girl where they're just trying to date this like badass conventional like thing from like the archetype from the, you know, 20 years ago, she might be more of like a futurist and yeah. love people that are able from their mind to shape shift the future of humanity. That's not valuable. Yeah. I would say, uh, so there's some pretty funny comments. Uh, these are Asian guys responding to seeing some white guy trolls that are talking about this. So yeah, you already have a pathetic white male LARPer troll in your YouTube comment section who is jealous. She picked an Asian guy. Um, some other Asian guy says, man, white incels are the real pandemic. They're in every corner of the internet and they somehow still believe they're going to go extinct. I will say this. When you're from a group of guys that generally has been considered like the top guys, right? You got Elon, you got Tom Brady, you got like Leo, every model everybody. from like the every last, president, really almost. from the last like hundred years, 150 years of global media. But you yourself are kind of like a low rank guy and you didn't get any piece of that, you hate to see a guys from other groups sur far surpass you. Right. Even though you're the lowest ranked guy of the group that won the last 400 years of history. Well, even when you see a higher ranked guy from a lower group, that still pisses you off if you're one of these trolls. Yeah, and you might like go crazy yeah. online. And here's another thing. I actually think, let's be honest, Kieran and Shipka, I think she has a lot of like kind of geeky nerdy fans yeah like yeah, i said I, she seems like she's totally internet native yeah if you look at the show she's in too you know i mean i think that a lot of like kind of nerdy guys like her. yeah this is not a kardashian i yeah. i would be shocked if a kardashian got with like an asian guy or let sydney alone sweeney a, let alone a tech this archetype is, this right. isn't exactly sydney sweeney or uh uh who's the girl from barbie uh the australian girl margot robbie margot robbie <clears throat> Um, somebody said, no, it doesn't benefit Hollywood. Hollywood is the ultimate soft power sexual competition media. I just think the guys that run TMZ, oh, no. if you look at them, they're boomers. They're like super Americana. They just don't know how to evaluate this like internet Gen Z, Eastern European, like East Asian man couple. I mean, which is by the way, way more common nowadays than people think. Like it hasn't penetrated the <laughs> mainstream yet, but like if you are out and about multiple like cities and you know, high net worth people. This is a very common couple. I mean, Dave, if you saw one of these pictures of them together and you were like, oh, this girl was born in Russia or Ukraine or the Czech Republic, you wouldn't even blink twice. You'd be like, yeah, oh, and he's okay. Mongolian or Korean. Be like, oh, that's or a, yeah. be like, that's a good looking couple. Like, she is good looking, but he probably takes care of her and he seems like a good guy. Right. Like, it's really not that crazy. I guess, why do you think there's so much debate on it, Andrew? Obviously, Asian guys are cheering on Alexander Wang. I mean, this is a guy who's almost an evolution of an Asian tech founder because the guys who founded YouTube, Andrew, Jerry Yang from Yahoo, they never, like, got to date actresses. That's something that was only reserved for white tech founders. Now, Asian tech founders get to do it. By the way, in Asia, 
Asian tech founders um, in Asia have been kind of like dating actresses or like more like hotter models, but yeah. just not in America. David, there was this other tech founder billionaire or he's worth a lot that was also dating that former Irish model. Remember we covered him? Yeah. I forgot his name. I mean, there's a couple of quasi billionaire guys slash like yeah. 500 million plus net worth guys. I think guys. the only difference is, is that Kiernan Shipka is dating this guy in her early 20s, which is a little different than what you see where you'll see like a woman appreciate Asian men later in life after they've dated or, or had other relationships. And they're like, you know what? Like this guy is a stable guy. He's a good guy. He's going to take care of me. He loves me. He's not going to cheat um, and beat on me. Yeah, or and, he, and obviously he, you know, it doesn't hurt that he's super rich. So I think that her dating him when she's 24, I think is actually a bigger statement, I guess. First of all, I want to normalize this. I think it's fair. I think... I don't look at Alexander Wang as way overachieving in this case. Like, to be honest, I know that people are going to be like, oh, well, she's a Hollywood actress. I'm like, he's like the youngest billionaire of all time. And he, like, let's say he's five foot 11. Like, what, a nice guy, five foot 11, that rich, aside from that he's Asian, should be able to, well, to date any girl he wants. This guy might command the robots once the robots take over the world. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If, yeah, I mean, so I think that, it makes sense, you know? So, but I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, she's technically in her young fun years, yeah. I guess. I, I think but maybe of, she already had her young fun years. A, a lot of people got to break free from that, like, mean girls, like, sort of, like, football jock, like, high school musical ranking that was true in America for, like, the past hundred yeah. years. I'm not saying I don't understand where TMZ's thinking by not covering this, but in terms of where the next 50 years is headed and who's going to have power, who's actually going to be shape-shifting the world... You know, especially once the um, older generation, like pre-internet, pre-cell phone generation passes on that's like still running things, it's going to be the Alexander Wangs. Dude, does she not look like she has a twitch? Like she's good looking, but she has she looks like she has a twitch. Yeah. She's like a <laughs> twitch streamer. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess, guys, what I mean to say is that I think a lot more people out there, especially the younger generation, they are appreciating not just Asians, but also the nerd world. And I would put tech founders in the nerd world. So let's say it's she doesn't have an Asian fetish, but she just she doesn't have anything against Asian guys and she respects nerdy guys and he's a nice nerdy guy who takes care of her and who's cool and they connect. Like um, then it makes complete sense. So what I'm saying is this um acceptance or embrace embracement, is that a word? Embracement of Asian guys in the nerd world eventually the nerd world and the tech world becomes so big, it does seep into other sides of media. Right. Uh, you're saying the tech world dynamics that stayed niche for so long are starting to dominate the whole school. It's going to become it's almost a little... like, Andrew, who was cool in the honors class is starting to bleed into the normie, regular kids class. Yeah, like the, the coolest kids in honors class are no longer, are still actually kind of cool in the entire right, school. In the prior anti-intellectual environment of America, I believe they were more isolated. Like well, whoever was cool amongst the nerds, it was like yeah, staying. I mean, in maybe that she's a big only. geek herself. Or why? Why does she have to be a geek? I Dude, don't know. I always tell people, Elon's best friends in college were all Asian. His roommates were Asian, but nobody ever cares about them. Yeah. But these these are the guys who spent all the time yeah. with Elon when he was growing up. Yeah, so I guess uh I'm not like gonna parade in the streets. As like, yo, this is the biggest win for Asian guys, so I'm going to go run out and celebrate. Yeah, we got one. It's like, no, that's good. I feel like this should happen, and I'm just going to look at this as a more normal occurrence. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think of uh, Kip Chick and Alexander Wang in the comments section below. It's dope to see it. Let's keep it rolling. Till next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.